Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain and demonstrate how to migrate Yoast SEO to Rank Math SEO. And that gets to a good point here. This is completely unsponsored. Nobody's given us anything. So if you like the video, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Very much helps with Google algorithms. Okay, let's get to it. The first thing is, why would you switch? Well, if nothing else, the free version of Rank Math includes a bunch of features that Yoast charges for. So one of the things, for instance, is the ability to analyze your posts based on five keywords, whereas Yoast only allows you to use one. So that's one thing. But there's a pile of little features like that that are just really helpful. In addition to that, I personally just find the interface easier to work through. I find Yoast a little cluttered, but the real reason I'm changing over is because I want to license Rank Math for at least a little while so that I can use the AI add-in tools, not the tools that Rank Math has, but the, the tools that Rank Math can link to. And what I want to do is go through all of my 3,000 plus posts and articles, and I want to set the SEO title and the page snippet. And I want AI to do that. I just can't do it myself. It's going to cost me a 150 US dollars to do all of that. By the time I buy Rank Math plus the content AI credits from Rank Math, the bottom line is we're going to move from Yoast to Rank Math right now. So let's do it. So this is uh, one of our sites. It's the primary site. I've been running, log into it if you haven't already. And you'll see here that we have SiteKit from Google, Google SiteKit running, as well as Yoast. And that's a mistake. We shouldn't have had that. So what we need to do is five things. First thing, disable Google SiteKit. It's not going to add anything, especially after we get Rank Math configured. Secondly, install Rank Math. Thirdly, go through the migration from Yoast to Rank Math, which is pretty much all automated. They do a great job of the importation. Fourthly, Take a look at some of the settings and make sure that they are the way you expect them to be. And then disable Yoast and make sure that your sitemap are updated in the Google Search Console. So I guess that's six. Let's start. Go to Plugins, Deactivate Site Kit. It's just redundant. It doesn't add anything. By the way, it's not a problem to leave it, but it's not helpful. Let's go to Rank Math. It'll be the first hit here. Yeah, there it is. Install now. Activate it. Click on Rank Math SEO. The first thing is yes, I want to enable usage tracking. I want to make their product better. You may not. Now, I have already created an account with Rank Math for the other sites that I've already converted. If you haven't already done this, it, you can create it right here and it's very fast. So let's click Activate Now and it is a free account. Nothing we're going to do today will cost a penny. Easy and advanced. I found from going through this that easy is easy and it gets through it very quickly, but then you've got to go through advanced to make a couple of changes. So I'm going to leave it on advanced. Next. And what are you importing data from? Well, I want to import it from Yoast. Start import. Wow, 8,600 items. This is going to take a minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, never seen that before. Well, all right, anyway, it's done now 100%. The click continue. Now, what is this? This is not a personal blog. In my case, this is a other business website. You choose which rate for you. Business type organization, most people are going to want to set that. Now you can see there are a pile of subtypes here, and unless that really fits you, just leave it at organization. Now connect Google services, this is important. Select the account you've used for your Google account. Yep, and it's going to ask you about seven different things Math Rank can get into. Yep, I let them get into all. Now, this is a bit odd. If you click the drop down, nothing's there now. Just wait a second. It will show up. There it is. Enable in the index tab, select property, data stream. Still not there. Just wait. There it is. And turn on the analytics code. If you have it set somewhere else, it won't cause a problem to have it again. And I'm going to exclude logged in users because it really doesn't make much sense to include me and other admins. Email reports, sure. As far as the sitemap goes, you definitely want to have it on and include images. The rest of this is also just correct, unless there's something you want to change. But for most people, this is correct. Most sites, almost done, by the way. Now, this is one that I had troubles with. External links opening in a new tab. You obviously want your visitors to stay on your site. So when they click a link, you want it to go to a new tab. The problem with that is 
About two years ago, we had an advertiser say that they were losing their tracking because of the new tab. And I looked into it and that was the case. That's all been resolved now. So you can go back to using open external links in a new tab. So make sure that's on. That's a very good thing. There we go. Now click save options. Role manager. I'm not changing anything here. These are just the, the roles of the subscriber and admins and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to turn the 404 monitor on. Click save and continue. This is important. The schema type. What is it? Do you have articles? Are these books? Are they courses? This really does affect your SEO. So make sure you get it right. My articles are articles. Save and continue. Now it's time to get rid of Yoast. So let's go down to plugins and Yoast and select deactivate. Bye. Let's go back to Rank Math SEO. Now scroll down here and turn on Image SEO. Let's go to Settings. Alt tags are the text that appears in place of a graphic, which is very helpful for search engines. It's also very helpful for handicapped people who can't see, for instance. And so a reader will tell them or describe what's there. So it's very, very important that you do have alt tags. But what if you don't? Well, you can substitute. This system will add it for you. So let's go to turn that on. And what do you want to call it? As you can see, there are lots of variables you can put in here. In my case, I always have alt tags. So this is not much of an issue. But I'll leave it on as file name because the file names I always make sure are SEO happy in that they have keywords in the file name. OK, let's click Save Changes. And now let's go to Links. If you have categories listed, and I don't, but if you do, you're definitely going to want to strip those out. They do not help in your SEO, which was a bit of a surprise, but they don't. Webmaster Tools, set your Google Search Console tag if you've got it. And if you don't have it, you don't know how to get it, click this link and it will do some explanation. Same thing with the Bing Webmaster Tools. And scroll down and select Save Changes. Now go to Sitemap and Settings. And this number is by default 200. That's the number of links in each individual sitemap. So if you have, say, 500 articles, that means you'd have three sitemaps. Sitemap 1, Sitemap 2, Sitemap 3. The first two would have 200 in them, and the last one would have 100 links to the various pages you've got, the URLs. Now, it used to be that Google wanted a higher number. They now want about 200, so set it to 200. We used to run at 1,000. Beyond that, scroll down and select Categories. For most people, this is turned off. You do not want categories and click on tags and make sure those are off as well. You do not want categories and tags indexed usually. It's redundant and Google doesn't like it. Save that. Now go back to general and make sure when you click this link that something comes up. Now you can see here, this says, hey, this is generated by Yoast. No, nope, not good. That's not what we want. I want the new sitemap to be created by Rank Math. How do you fix that? How do you force it? Two things. One, you make a setting change in WordPress. We'll show you that in permalinks in particular. And secondly, you clear the cache and force it to rebuild. Let's go to WordPress settings and permalinks. Then scroll right to the very bottom. Don't bother to make any changes and just click Save Changes. There we go. And then you go to whatever caching system you have and delete the cache. You flush it. So if you have a caching plugin, go to it and flush the cache. If your server is caching, go to the server and have it flush the cache. And if you have a content delivery network like we have through Cloudflare, make sure you flush that cache. So I've done the permalink save thing and I've cleared the cache from my server and from Cloudflare. And look, if I click this link, it still goes to this annoying Yoast. Why is that? Browser cache. That's this machine. So what you do is bring up a browser in private or incognito as Google Chrome calls it. And bingo, there it is. So it has changed over to this new sitemap from Rank Math. Now let's go to Google Search Console, click on sitemaps and submit this sitemap right now. So you'll see here last time it was red was October 18th. That's the sitemap index. We want to force it to update. Yay. And also, I say I have an old sitemap here. And you might think you could just click here and get rid of it, but you can't. You have to click on it 
and then go to the top and select remove sitemap. It's just an old one that's garbage. It's just one I had from a previous little test I was doing that I forgot to clear out. So you can see here, this has been updated today. Yay. And hey, that's about all you need to know to migrate your Yoast SEO to Rank Math SEO. So hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because you know, on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.